As a part of the book, uh, Printing in Plastics and Build Your CNC, we've decided to switch to the Generation 4 electronics. The electronics are currently offered by uh, the MakerBot Industries. The most compelling aspect of these electronics revolves around using a strict Arduino card. In the, in the Generation 4 electronics, an Arduino Mega is used. In this particular um, offering from MakerBot, they use the, the AT, um, AT Mega 128 or 1280 microcontroller. And in most of these Megas now, uh, they use the 256 or 2560 um, AT Mega which has a little bit more power um, with memory and, and things like that, but the 128 is sufficient for uh, use in the 3D printing. A strict Arduino is able to be used with the aid of the new motherboard that they've come up with. And uh, this motherboard really is just a, it's a shield that goes over the Arduino using these pins. And it essentially just takes these pins that are on the Arduino, um, you can see them around here, and it distributes them to common types of connectors that are easier to, to uh, uh, connect to various components like the stepping um, motor drivers. Um, they do have a few added bells and whistles on this actual board. The first most noticeable addition on the board is the use of a, an SD card slot that connects to the Arduino and allows a, a program or a G-code to be uh, processed from this actual card itself and not from a computer. The limit switches no longer have to be wired through the stepping motor driver. You can wire them directly from the motherboard now and you, can, you have the, the possibility of using mechanical limit switches which are um, greatly used in the industry for three axis type machines. As with the previous motherboard you have two connectors um, that are RS-485. These are not Ethernet. They have e uh, Ethernet type of connectors, but um, really it's just using uh, the connector type, which is very convenient, and using a communication um, protocol of RS-485. To the right of the 485 connectors, there are two LEDs, one for five volts and one for 12 volts. A reset button lies right next to the SD card slot. And there are five connectors to the stepping motor drivers. We have X, Y, Z, A, and B. And finally, there's the all important ATX connector for the power supply. The next board that is provided with the generation four electronics is the extruder controller. This is the version 3.6. This board has its own microcontroller built in onto it. It's, you could, I guess you could call it a, uh, an Arduino board, but it's really sort of a, an Arduino board um, with a lot of components uh, built on. Uh, there is a connector for a quadrature. This um, is probably for an encoder. Uh, so you can have feedback back into the, uh, the, the, uh, the processor. There's an RS-485 connector that connects directly to the motherboard. And there's a power connector for one of the power cables from the ATX and the uh, terminal for connecting to various components such as the, the temperature um, sensor, which is a thermocouple, and then heater. And the heater will be connected to um, the power resistors that we're, we'll be using for the generation for um, extruder uh, hot end. The stepping motors will be powered by these stepping motor drivers, and we're going to attempt to um, to connect NEMA 23 motors to these drivers. For the actual driving and controlling, uh, they use a chip, it's the Allegro 3977, and this is a translator which receives step and direction, um, step pulses and direction uh, logical signals, and it outputs uh, the necessary um, coil combination firing for uh, the motor. And that is um, from this connector here, ABCD, um, connecting to the actual stepping motor itself. And this connector connects directly to the, uh, to the motherboard, um, one, uh, one of the axes, uh, X, Y, Z, A, or B. And then you have the standard power connector to the ATX. And you have various references and, and um, ways to um, uh, change the, uh, the settings for uh, current and, and, and other types of um, configurations for the stepping motor. Three stepping motor drivers actually come with uh, the Generation 4, uh, but you'll probably need, you will need a fourth one to, to control the, uh, the extruder uh, motor. Since we'll be using an extruder that uses a stepping motor and, as opposed to a DC motor. As I noted uh, when talking about the motherboard with these uh, limit switches, uh, these connectors for limit switches, these are the actual limit switches that are being used and you can see that they are mechanical in nature and they don't use light, a light barrier um, as a switch 
and uh, there were some challenges using the, the, the optical uh, device uh, for limit switching because uh, dust and, and debris could be uh, lodged inside of the, the optical sensor causing it to stop. So uh, a mechanical device is actually a little bit more uh, resilient um, and robust for these machines and that they will generally work um, until the actual uh, until there was an actual mechanical failure which uh, would be a relatively long time. There are various other connectors that are um, included uh, that will be um, we'll talk about those uh, during the actual construction of the the generation for electronics but these are generally um, like this connector it connects to the from the uh, motherboard to the um, extruder controller uh, these are connectors from uh, stepping motor connectors uh, to the actual drivers and connectors for the the mechanical um, limit switches. 